Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. I have a question, came into customer service, and a short one, sweet and to the point. Digging deep with wedges. Video lesson that covers this. Could use a fix, submitted by Lynn Fuller. Okay, let's talk about a few points here. First one naturally would be alignment. Let me get, let me get a wedge out here. I'll get my pitching wedge out. I'm probably not going to be able to hit these here because you know a wedge will very likely go right over the right over the net, and uh, that won't be good. So alignment. If you're aiming to the right of if you're aiming to the right, and you have to kind of clear back to the line, and your body's getting way out ahead, bang, chopping right down them big time. So that would mean like from this view coming down like that, be coming down almost toe deep. So alignment can be critical. Say so you have good alignment. You're, you're standing here and you're parallel left of your target, but you get in here and, and with the shorter vertical clubs, and you get in here and you just turn too soon, or you come back here and, 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 and you turn your hips and shoulders, club goes out on top, body's way ahead of the ball. Again, from this view, if you get in and you turn, anytime you turn too soon, you're definitely going forward. And being forward, you got to kind of throw it, you have to throw the club at the ball to hit it, to hit it. Now, how about just plain old ball too far back? If you don't, in many I have find yourself now and then having to come backwards to get it, and that's when you might you might you might bounce off the ground into the ball, sort of like we call a drop kick, or come come up out of the shot and skull it and thin it. Or if you come in here and and and, and just have try to get there, and, and because it's back, you're already way too ahead. Or in some cases, some guys they get it when it get with the wedge, they almost lean too far forward. That'll, that'll chop down. The only time you lean way forward is if you're only hitting some sort of a little, a little pitch shot. And as you notice, all I did was I nipped that off the ground. I didn't, I, didn't hit, I didn't hit down into it, which brings us up to another major problem. Hitting down on the ball. I mean, we want to always have what we call swing up on the ball from the top of the backswing with every club. And even with wedges, I prefer to still always have the club ricocheting off the ground. And, and, and with a ball, the, we nip it or or clip it, or ricochet off the ground. So with vertical clubs, it's get it's real easy to start hitting down too much, and and, and again that'll cause that'll cause them being quite chubby. Another one could be, uh, again, just getting up in here and sliding too much with a wedge. You were very very vertical. We can slide the club. Uh, the club is coming down quite vertical. You slide ahead again. You're ahead. The ball. The ball technically now has been what? Even if I started in the middle and I slide too far forward, the ball is effectively way back in my stance. I could be chunking them really bad. Could be reaching too far so you're losing your balance and kind of falling into the ball. So there's numerous, numerous issues here. And last but not least, I think we could be saying that that there's an outside chance if your clubs are too long, and 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 every and, and that would mean if you're especially even if your wedges were way too long, you could you could be having a problem of ha of of either having to come lift yourself up so you don't stick it in the ground, and if you stay if you kind of stay level and your arms and you make a pretty good swing and your arms are straightening out as as what happens if one makes a peak performance golf swing because we stay put, the head doesn't the head stays quite level. Stay right here, the arms can straighten out, but if your clubs are a little bit too long and or heavy, you could you could be having a problem with chunking them. But the odds are it's too much movement, and again, one of the biggest killers is, is consistent with, with with what almost all golfers have been taught, and it's one of the main things that, that we now try to do and get everybody out of in, to make a peak performance swing is kicking the left the left out of forward knee. And you do that and you go down and if you don't come back up just right or you go down and you go forward and there it is again so check out your knees wide knees out with pressure they stay level you hit the ball more solid I'm sorry I had to knock it down so I didn't hit it over the, over the screen over the net you're going to stay level and so I almost forgot the knee and usually when the knee goes down the back leg's going to go backwards might even really straighten and, and that pushes you forward and if you're ahead of it there's a big cause of a chunk so keep the knees quiet shots and just lift up. Wide knees out with pressure. Okay, so we covered probably at least six or seven issues here. And uh, again, we start with alignment and we, and we ended with left knee, which are some of the biggest issues we see in every student, for every private lesson, and every golf school. 
that, that we do. All right, so we want to hit it. We want to nip it, clip it, club ricochet off the ground so we can hit it. We get good solid contacts, hit, them, hit those straight shots and shoot those lower scores. So this applies to wedge and realistically everything I just said here applies to every club in the bag, but the wedge can be more significant being the shortest, most vertical club. And, and therefore, and you can hit the chunkiest shots with them doing that too. So it applies to everything and to wedges. Well, that's it for the search for today on the causes and cures for chunking wedges or any club. That's it for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.